Hi Gemini, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of January. This is Mary and Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Gemini, this is a bonus reading. We're going to take a look at love, life, and advice for you for January. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I was doing an element bonus reading weekly um, on love, life, and advice. But I decided to discontinue that series and gear this more towards each individual sign and put it as a bonus reading for each sign for the month. So hopefully um, you will enjoy this. You can leave me comments below on how you like this. And uh, let's see what we have for you, Gemini. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. If you have it in uh, Gemini in any of those places. So I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. And as with every re uh, reading, please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Could be past, present, future energies. Could be messages and energies that you just need to hear at this time. So let's see what's going on on love, life, and advice for Gemini for this bonus reading at this time. I do consider all my readings timeless, so I do say at this time. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, if you catch something that catches your eyes, so watch it anyway. And you can find your playlist below um, in the description box. Your love and general reading playlist are down there, as well as how to reach out for personal reading. Social media, decks I'm using, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below, so feel free to check that out. And I'll also pin uh, the top comment with some of that information also. So let's see what we have here. We have treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. And we have 10. And 10 is usually about an ending, but then there's a new beginning. So needing to treasure this connection, whatever connection you have with somebody here. And then we have 34, receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. And we have 34, which is seven. Seven is a very spiritually, divinely guided number. So you may have somebody that uh, coming into your life or that is in your life that was very meant to be on your path, very much meant to be on your path. It's divinely guided for you. It could be your soulmate, um, loved one here. And it's telling you to love and appreciate them and to treasure them also in, in the connection also. It's a nice energy. Okay. So, and you see like the hands of divine, God, whatever you want to call it here, like protecting this connection, like handing you this divinely guided connection to you. And I just kind of get the same energy with the Gemini there for some reason. I don't know. And you see the hand here receiving so okay so and we're going to clarify all this with the tarot to get more meaning so if you're new to my channel gemini you can check it out if you like what you see please feel free to subscribe don't forget to hit the bell you'll be notified when i post new readings like share comment uh, i love to read the comments all right so let's see what's going on in life for gemini what do we have for Gemini in life at this time? Spirit, please. And I'm feeling this one right here. And we have the four of Raphael. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. It's a four of cups energy. A feeling bored, complacent, blah. It's kind of my blah card. So feeling bored and complacent and blah about something. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be... Um, about your friendships, it could be about your job, your career, it could be anything here. So on the bottom we have the sun, Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful to thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So the sun is here to say that you can have success, victory, um, happiness and joy, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family, that whatever boredom, complacency, blondness that you're feeling for some reason. This will be overcome by the sun. It's the most positive card in the deck. It overtrumps everything. So whatever blondness you're feeling for whatever reason right, now, reason right now in your life, whether it has to do with, could be financial lack. It could be your maybe your finances aren't so good. Maybe you're not enjoying your career or your job right now. Maybe your friendships are kind of eh right now or something with family. I mean, whatever here. Is causing you just to feel ugh. the sun is going to sit here to say things will be fine so all right so let's see 
let's see what your advice is from the universe, from spirit, from your angels. And I want to give a uh, quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift or reached out for personal reading. Thank you. Thank you so much. I couldn't do this without you guys. So your support really means a lot to me. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's get your advice. Gemini. What's Gemini's advice? This, wow. Bonus reading. All right. I'm going to take that one. Could be male or female watching this. Doesn't matter. But we do have here Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So whether you're a god or a goddess is telling you to appreciate who you are, your, your um, self-worth, your knowing your being, to be in a high vibration, um, just appreciate your body and yourself and who you are. Dance, have a good time, I don't know, whatever you do to raise your vibration or relax or have a good time is telling you to be in that energy, knowing who you are. And on the bottom here, we have Maeve, cycles and rhythms, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Wow, so it's like the same energy, <laughs> same energy, honoring your, your emotions, your, you know, cycles or rhythms that you go through, um, you know, the ebbs and flows, you know, you feel good, you don't feel good, you know, in high vibration, low vibration, you feel sad, one day happy, the next, I mean, it's all part of life. And to just to go with the flow and embrace those emotions and just let it out, let it flow, and move on <laughs> to the next cycle and rhythm. All right. So don't be afraid to feel your emotions. Deal with your emotions. Don't hold them in because that is not healthy. It's not good for you. All right. So... Let's clarify all these energies for you, Gemini, for this bonus reading for January. You can leave me a comment below. I don't know if I mentioned that already on what you think of these uh, bonus readings. All right. I figured this bonus reading give you a little bit of everything. All right. So let's take a look-see at love here. Receive with love and appreciation. Treasure your loved ones. So I very much feel like this is divinely guided yeah, wish dream come true here. Happiness and joy, fulfillment. Someone feel like, um, let's see, what do we have here? Wow, so we have, we have the lovers. So I definitely felt soulmate energy here. And here's the lovers. That's your energy, Gemini. Gemini, you have a lover here. You feel like it's your wish your dream come true. Could have past lives with this person with the Six of Cups energy. Or someone you've known in the past, since childhood, went to school with. Um, soulmate energy again with the Six of Cups. So, wow. Someone has a wish fulfillment of a soulmate they could have had past lives with, unknown since childhood. Maybe coming back together, haven't seen each other since childhood. And now you're connecting again. Or this could be someone you've been with for a very long time. Uh, that is your true soulmate. There's juggling here. Uh, it could be finances. It could be... Um, anything but let's get more clarity on why the two of pentacles is here um what this imbalance is what we're trying to juggle and balance out page of pentacles so this could be uh learning something new this could be you know an offer coming in like uh, um this could actually be engagement somebody could be juggling around whether or not they want to propose because you see the kind of pentacle there sometimes can be you know, because if you add that together, so three pentacles, which would be working together, somebody, I think, is indecisive whether or not, when, how, where, you know, if they should maybe propose. I don't know. Let's get one more. Knight of Swords. This is rushing in, rushing ahead. Maybe they feel it's too quick. Maybe if this is sort of like a new connection, uh, it could be you or your person. Maybe they're wanting to propose, but they're feeling like it's too soon, too early. That they'd be rushing it, rushing too quickly to do that. And they're really not sure on how to do that. But they definitely do see here a soulmate energy. And this is like a wish fulfillment kind of energy. Really loving, appreciating, and treasuring this connection. Or this could be past energy. Maybe this is how it went down in the past. And, you know, 
they wanted to propo propose in the past but felt like it was way too soon but maybe they did anyway because that knight of swords can be rushing in very very quickly i feel like something here moved forward or is moving forward very very quickly but definitely it's a soulmate connection here all right so let's see what we have here for the four of cups and the sun three swords yeah so this is hurt pain Somebody's been stabbed in the back or stabbed in the heart. Somebody did something here that was painful, hurtful to you or maybe somebody around you. But, I mean, the sun is here for healing the heart. Three of Pentacles, again, for wanting to come together, working it out, teamwork, collaboration, compromise. Let's work it out. Let's, you know, work together. Two of Cups coming back into alignment. Unity, it could be friend, family, co-worker, it could be a lover. Um, not really feeling it's a lover, it could be somebody you worked with. Maybe just a co-worker that you had a very close friendship with, something happened. Could have been a fight, argument, maybe they did something behind your back. That wasn't exactly the nicest thing to do at work. But now there's healing, enlightenment, people coming back together, having, you know, peaceful resolutions, peace, harmony, apologies healing conversations, working on this. Let's, you know, work together. Yeah, here's the apologies with the Page of Cups energy, like I just said. Now restarting the friendship or whatever here, back to zero, wiping the slate clean, taking a fresh start, leap of faith, restarting back at zero with these uh, apologies, you know, loving, compassionate communication peace and harmony yeah now being mature with you know mature moving forward you know not doing anything behind anyone's back anymore or anything that's not so nice now we're mature we're going to act mature um kind of energy sometimes you know the king or queen doesn't matter it doesn't really truly say how they feel but it's a mature energy so i feel like we're more mature we're, you know we're mature adults now no more of this foolish energy either with the fool energy Having that, you know, peaceful, apologetic communication, coming back and working this out. I mean, some of you, it could be a love situation, but I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like it's either a friend or a coworker. Could even be a family member kind of energy. I'm getting more work because we do have the three of pentacles and that's about working teamwork with other people. All right, so... Let's see what this inner goddess cycles and rhythms is about honoring your true self, honoring your emotions and your feelings. The emperor, yeah. Someone here could try to control their feelings, their emotions, not letting them show, not dealing with them, holding them down, suppressing them. Like it's not manly or it's not, you know, not manly, but it's not, you know, my thing. I don't, I don't show any my emotions. I don't deal with my emotions. I try to, you know, I try to stay stable and grounded and, um, you know, sturdy and I don't, I just don't, you know, I don't deal with my emotions. I try to hide them, control them. As you see, like, kind of in the shadow here, like you can't even see his face. Like, you push those emotions back down deep inside and like, nope, not going to deal with it. And we got the Four of Cups again, which kind of makes you feel like, ugh, like, Really deep down, you feel like, ick, ick, you know, blah, because you don't deal with those emotions, so it all builds up, and then you just feel like really, really not good. But the world needing to close out cycles and start new cycles, so needing to end this cycle of just pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, and not deal, it's time now to start a new cycle of just honoring your emotions and feelings and dealing with them, not pushing them down, like just appreciate your body and what it is and who you are and the emotions you feel and letting it come to the surface so now we get the queen of pentacles of the king and queen that's like double <laughs> the emperor king and queen so somebody maybe just concentrates on work 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 and doesn't deal with the other things in life they need to deal with ace of pentacles yeah so i mean this could be a new a new career, a new job, or something like that, where you're investing all your time, energy, 
whatever into that and not dealing with other things that you need to deal with and just suppressing all that energy and just putting it into work and not truly, truly dealing with your like personal life, your, your fears, your emotions, your feelings, whatever you're going through, needing to raise your vibration. If you need to cry, cry, laugh, laugh. If you need to yell and scream, yell and scream, whatever. I feel like somebody here doesn't do that. They just very like straight faced and like one tone and that's it. And deep down they're like just screaming inside and like feeling just like yuck, yucky. <laughs> and it's time to just deal with that energy. All right, so King of Swords, yeah. So this is divine energy coming to say that that is the truth of the matter <laughs> because you've got the sword of truth here. Divine energy to me, yeah. Resting, healing kind of energy, just kind of hanging back, not taking any action, not doing anything, just, you know, just going to, you know, lay there, not deal. But temperance is here to say, divine energy, you need to find your inner balance, patience with yourself, healing energy, Stop keeping secrets or hiding your emotions. And it's time to heal. Time to heal. Move forward. Making judgment calls. Nine of rods, the wounded warrior, but you keep on fighting. Being defensive about all that toxic energy you keep inside. But uh, it's time to stop being defensive. To, you know, you feel like that wounded warrior. So now, you know, you need to make a decision here. Even though you're moving forward in life, you still need to heal and deal with your true feelings and emotions instead of hiding them. Balancing out your energy, having, you know, patience with yourself, healing energy instead of just not doing anything about it. Divine energy is here to say it's time to heal and deal with things in life. Your energy, your emotions, will, you will feel much more happier. That's with the sun energy there, Gemini. Wow, Gemini. Okay. So hope this resonates for you and best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.